Hey folks, Danny Boylan. I've got a video today about warped Leger reeds and what to do about them. I play the Leger uh, signature reeds on both alto and tenor, and I love them. And, but sometimes my tenor reeds, and for some reason it generally only happens to my tenor reeds, will warp. They'll start to curve downwards at the tip. So if this is a, um, a reed, I'm talking, here's the butt, and here's the tip. I'm talking about the tip starting to curve slightly downward, kind of almost to mirror the facing of the mouthpiece. And uh, it's normally pretty subtle, and you can tell if it's happening. If you can't see it by eye, you know, you could place your reed um, ideally on a, a flat, perfectly flat surface like a piece of glass. And if the butt is touching and the tip is touching and this part is just slightly raised, that's what I'm talking about, about the warpage this way. It happens a good bit of the time with my tenor reeds. So, quick answers is, so, so can your Leger reed warp? Yes. Does it matter? Not necessarily. I noticed that even with the warpage in the reed, um, it maybe made the reed play a tiny bit more sluggish, uh, less crispy, maybe felt like a slightly softer reed, but it was still perfectly playable even when um, warped a bit. So it's not the end of the world and you don't have to do anything about it. I, however, want mine to be as straight as possible. And so can you do something about it? And the answer is yes. And so what I did, and I think the solution I came up with was kind of ridiculous and a bit overkill. I'll put a picture of it here, but um, I just put my reeds on a flat surface and I weighted them down in the middle. And I, that's how I store them. And uh, I was very grateful to find that that totally fixed it. So now that's how I store my tenor reeds is, is, is um, you know, forced flat. And that seems to uh, totally correct the problem. It's been a lovely solution. I don't know why you couldn't just use a standard like plastic, I'll put a picture up of what I mean, uh, reed case for this. For some reason I have an aversion to those, but I don't see why. Or really whatever you come up with just to kind of force that reed uh, with a little bit of weight or um, pressure to stay flat and to store it flat. Um, and so just as a, a side note, you know, the old way Leger shipped their reeds, uh, this, the storage case was basically a piece of paperboard, so that didn't work. And I don't like the new reed cases. Um, I don't like how you have to pry the reed out. I'm always scared that I'm gonna bend the tip when I do it. Um, it stores it so it's kind of just elevated and sitting there. So if, if the reed is warped, that's definitely not going to help it at all. Uh, they seem great if you want to protect your reeds. Uh, if you're literally going to throw it in a bag or throw it in your sax case, it seems like it will be totally protected, which is nice. But I just don't like the design of those cases, so I don't really use mine at all. But anyways, that's a... Uh, that's about it. So, uh, so I just recommend if you find that your, your Leger reed is warped in the way that I described, just store it flat, forced flat. And I think you'll get the idea from, from what I've shown here today. And I'll be surprised if it, if, if it doesn't uh, basically take the shape of the flatness. So uh, recommended surfaces would probably be glass, something that you know is true and flat. So I hope that was helpful. Um, please feel free to leave comments and thanks very much.